Welcome to another Property Vlogs tour. Today I'm going to show you this beautiful three bedroom house type called the Letchworth. All the details are in the description. So if you're curious about anything, just scroll down and read a little bit more. But stay tuned and watch the rest of the tour and we'll tour the whole thing together. Welcome. Come inside. Welcome home, as I say. So first things first, a taller than standard front door very grand with a, the uh, a light in the door a frosted one for privacy a little viewfinder keyhole in there a little security system and my favorite the choir matting that stops the main flooring getting dirty when you walk in so first things first standard floor ceiling heights nope we've actually got taller than standard doors and floor to ceiling heights looking at the details throughout the home you're going to notice the doors have these chrome handles and these two panel satin a uh, uh, satin finish white painted doors with these traditional architraves and traditional skirting boards so that's going to be a feature throughout the whole home right let's check what's in here it is your downstairs toilet so in this toilet you've got your toilet and then a corner sink fixture this time it's nicely sized there's a little window just snuck up there letting in lots of natural light a little radiator fantastic um coming back out into this space let's go into this room so this room is your formal lounge if you prefer it can be your formal dining area but again taller than standard floor to ceiling heights and then also all the rooms here have central heating so you've got a large panel radiator underneath the window the window faces the front of the property and floods this space with lots of light i love the way they've spaced this because you've got a double seater there which could be a three seater because it's quite wide another three seater there and then a focal point is on this wall if you wanted you could flip it around play around with the space however you like but essentially that's your formal lounge coming back into this corridor i spy a understair cupboard yep an understair cupboard as you can see there with your security system lovely and then let's go into the rest of the house so going into this space right so we've got a u-shaped kitchen and then a dining area so it's an open plan dining kitchen area i love it so in terms of proportions i think it's pretty sizable the kitchen itself is very nicely kitted out and then the dining area here at the moment is staged as a four-seater but pop a couple of chairs at the end and it becomes a six-seater there's a little console at the end and you benefit from having that connection with the rear garden we've got double doors opening out and then either side of the double doors we've got two floor to ceiling glazing panels as well your garden sizable it looks like it's approximately 10 or so meters to the end of it over there and obviously with this being a show home there's no fence dividing the two properties but you'd probably have a narrower garden so bear that in mind so before we leave this space i just want to go into the kitchen to point out the usual details i'm going to start from the left and work my way to the right so i think this is going to be oh yes it's a very clever space saving system spices and herbs can go in there this is going to be your fridge freezer yep and it is in a i'm gonna hazard a guess and say 60 40 but if i'm wrong guys about anything leave it in the comments below i want to read up on this and so in the next video i can obviously say it right but it's approximately 70 30 maybe 60 40 ratio and that's fantastic we've got integrated appliances and a stainless steel we've got storage just ample storage as well um, it doesn't sound as though soft closers are standard so just bear that in mind just storage there we've got your socket bank there in a white just classical white as well cupboards and i love the fact that they've used the space directly underneath the hob where you would trad traditionally have your oven that is now being positioned on the wall and instead we have a cutlery drawer and look how beautiful that is that's fantastic you know i have a lot of cutlery don't know about you you can have this for your pots and pans and then you've got your four gas hob as well i love the fact that it's gas as well so and there's a large one here for woks and frying pans it's by aeg and then you've got an extract fan above with a little light that doesn't come on but it 
there's because there's probably no bulb in there there's storage here storage there storage everywhere and dishwasher right yep dishwasher and storage just more storage okay so this is a stainless steel sink as well in one and a half by leisure and then you've got this laminate worktop which i should have mentioned right from the beginning laminate worktop in a very it's a stone kind of print it's done to look like crushed um stone um very durable but obviously it's not the same as having an actual stone or solid surface um but it's still very contemporary because it's done with a square edging profile you've got a window right in front of your sink so washing up is going to be fantastic and fun and just lots of storage um i love the fact that these are kind of cream colored and they're very simple um classic kind of flat finish as well it's also a satin color so it's not too shiny and then essentially that's your kitchen area over there your dining area over here you've got this really cool unique um vertical radiator as well central heating and it's quite large so i think it'll definitely heat up the whole space and i think that pretty much is this open plan space now oh actually oh wait guys there is a mystery door and oh wow wow okay i like this i don't know about you do you like this comment in below i want to read if people actually really like this so we can start designing it into the houses that brian and myself actually design um so essentially um this is a zanussi washer dryer combo and it's pretty i you know what i love it I'm just going to put it out. I love that. It's under the stairs, it's tucked away and it does the job. And you can close the door if it gets really noisy, which they always do. So coming back into this space, we're now back in our corridor. Now let's go upstairs. So it is a kite winder stair, U-shaped. So there's a winder here and another winder at the top. We just passed by a window on the staircase on the stairwell and now we are in the landing area so right first things first let me check what's in this mystery door which sounds like there's a very strange noise coming from it not sure if the microphone's going to pick it up but bear with us guys we have to work with the houses with the way they are so here is an above staircase store with a weird ticking noise happening um that's something part of the house and then that's where they've housed the boiler in this situation um so that's the store cupboard that's great and then coming here this is a family bath you can see they've got the antico or at least luxury vinyl tiling flooring you've got your bathtub by ideal standard with a shower over the bath full height tiling this beautiful gray stone effect tiling they've got edging strips to the corners but they've actually left the wooden sills here which is an ideal it would you know maybe speak to the developer and ask them if they continue the tiling into there but regardless the edging strip everything's lovely you've got the window facing the front and it's frosted for privacy you've got your ideal standard sink they've put the tiling there great for splashes and then you've got ideal standard taps and then you've got your toilet shaver socket to the main family bathroom and then you've got your towel rail uh, behind the door so opposite that room well adjacent to that room is this room love it i love it because it looks like that's a king size bed i love to see a king a double bedroom being upgraded to a king size bed bedroom so we've got a king size two bedside tables enough space around to move they've got central heating radiator front facing window with your trickle vents and then we've got a uh well there's a there's a little nook behind the camera right now um which you probably can't see you can we've got a, a mirror in there and then they've got this whole bank of wardrobes here which has been built kind of i don't know if it's in where I'm not sure if it's level with the wall, but essentially this is where they've considered you're going to put your wardrobes, which is a little bit of a shame because sometimes you do want to put a TV on that wall. You can't do that with this option, except you forego the wardrobes. And if you forego the wardrobes, maybe you can put them here. That's quite a good idea. Put the wardrobes here and then have your TV opposite 
or keep the wardrobes there and have a little mini kind of dressing area that you can only use obviously when the door is fully closed. So I see a thermostat here. So maybe this room has its own independently controlled heating. Well, we'll you know, that's something to be confirmed with the developer. So coming into here, I knew this was going to be an ensuite, guys. You've got your vinyl flooring there, luxury vinyl tile and this really beautiful, very light colored wood grain effect, a tower rail there, a toilet, a sink, shaver socket and a fully tiled floor to ceiling tiled um, shower enclosure there with your handheld shower there. Lovely. I love it. So, you know, obviously things like full tiling are upgrades. So you'd have to discuss with the developer, should you wish to continue that tiling everywhere else in the bathroom. But that's it. That's the ensuite. So let's come back into the corridor. So coming back into the corridor. Oops. So we're now back on the landing. We've got two more rooms on this floor. Let's look at this room. So this room faces the back of the property and oh, the interior design is just so peaceful and calming. I love the staging. We've got a double window face in the rear garden, a, a, a double bed potentially king size bed two bed sides either side maybe you opt to remove that and put a wardrobe there or a dresser or keep it there and do it exactly as they've done a dresser there and your wardrobe is here so you've got a double wardrobe built cleverly behind the door but obviously kind of how i'm pushing the door there you'd have to have your door fully closed before you can open the wardrobe doors so also consider kind of usability and the zones around furniture for you to operate. So as I said, you can't open the wardrobe except the doors are fully closed. So coming back into the landing area, we've got the final room here, which is a single room. Um, it's pretty nice for a single room, if I have to say, because there's a full consideration to the wardrobe space there. And should you want to, you probably increase the size of the bed to a twin size or a, a long single bed. If you wanted to completely remove the single, make this like a games room, um, a very tiny, <laughs> not tiny, that is the wrong word, a very snug, <laughs> snug cinema room and a nice little playroom or work from home office. I love the fact that it benefits from a double window looking over the back garden. You get to see the size of your garden, which is very nice. And essentially that is it guys, that concludes the tour. If you liked what you saw, give this video a like, leave us a comment about what you like the most about this property. And most of all, subscribe so we see you next week in our next video. Bye.